We're here with Smile TV, interviewing Kaylin Crosby, who is the significant person behind the Giving Keys. Can you tell us a little bit about that program? Sure. Um, so I started the Giving Keys a couple years ago on a fluke. Uh, I was on a music tour and uh, I started wearing a hotel key around my neck and made a necklace out of it and would get compliments on it all the time. And uh, one day I was at a locksmith and I had an idea, oh, can you just engrave the word love on, on the key? Because I saw him engraving other people's keys with numbers, so I thought, do you have letters here as well? So he did, so then I started going back and uh, making more for my friend's birthday presents, love, hope, faith, dream, belief, grace. All my friends love them so much, so then I, I decided to start making them and selling them on tour. Uh, and I would say to all the people in the audience, you know, all these keys are one of a kind, you're one of a kind. I want you guys to pick out the key that reminds you that you're unique, just like this key. And then once you feel like you've accomplished it or owned that word, so to speak, then I encourage you to give it away to somebody that you feel needs the message on the key more than you. So then I built the website called The Giving Keys and you blog the story of why you gave it away. I do speaking engagements all over the country. I was speaking at a camp for a a girl who's about 22 years old. She was one of the best soccer players in the country. Sadly, she was hit by a drunk driver walking across a crosswalk, and all of a sudden it hit me. The reason why I had this key was to give it to Kylie. And so I went out and I was like, Kylie, this key is, is supposed to be for you. It says believe on it, and I told her the story of the giving keys, and I mean, she had tears in her eyes, and I had tears in my eyes, and it was one of the most moving experiences of my life. I had a key that said strength on it and one of my girlfriends was going through a really terrible breakup. Um, the breakup was very unexpected and she was just devastated and it was really difficult to watch her go through this breakup. She was just so down about it and sort of hopeless that she would be able to fall in love again or find love again. So one day I gave her my strength key because I knew that she was strong enough to make it through the breakup and I knew that one day she would be strong enough to give love a chance again um, and sure enough about seven months later um, she passed her strength key along to someone who needed it more than she did. So then I knew there was a missing link they were they were selling out for months I knew I wanted the money to go to charity but I just didn't know what and one day I was walking on Hollywood Boulevard I saw a couple uh, who were living on the streets they were holding up a sign and it caught my eye, so I went up to them, got their whole life story, and uh, I said to the girl, Sarah, um, I said, I like your necklace, and, and she's like, oh, thanks, I like making jewelry, and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are the missing link to the Giving Keys, so do you, do you guys want to be my business partners? And, uh, and they're like, okay. So then uh, the next day, I got all the, the equipment, ordered it all in, they were amazing, and they were helping me, and I just started paying them to make these keys. And they ultimately got off living on the street. They've been making enough money to stay at this hotel right here. It got me off the streets and got me into an apartment and they got me enrolled in school. Now we have about 15 different um, people that are trying to transition out of homelessness that are, they were paying to engrave keys and we just partnered up with HATH and uh, United Way and you know been able to give them uh, a job because it's you know it's hard to get a job these days. I was at PATH and they came and made a presentation and they needed between three and ten people in total to make the keys and so I decided to sign up for it. I'm so blessed working and knowing that my hands can engrave those keys that are going to be passed on to other people is the most wonderful project. Well and you've probably heard a lot more stories mm -hmm. but is there one that sticks out Zoe, that was my favorite. Last year is probably one of the hardest years of my life. Um, I lost my dream job, the boyfriend, my house, and in the midst of it, I lost my mentor, which was my grandmother. One thing after another happened, I had decided I'd had enough, and I chose to go to sleep one night and not want to wake up in the morning. And yet again, I failed at that too. Um, and so sitting in the hospital five hours later, my roommate at the time took something off from around her neck and put it around mine. And it was a key that said courage on it. 
That night, I was shipped to a facility for 72 hours and placed on suicide watch. And the one thing they didn't get from me was that key. It was long enough that it stayed around my neck for the whole 72 hours. And every time I looked down on it while I was there, I was reminded that I could do this and I had the courage to keep going. Love being with such a project that helps people. It's just, things just really go well when you're helping others. I mean, it makes you feel good inside. When you started engraving keys, were there ones that had a particular impact for you? My favorite one was always hope because there's always hope and I don't know, every time I wrote it, it inspired me a little more. I always just want to do something to encourage someone or help somebody and so I think if you can, you know, have, you know, fashion and, and put those two things together, that's very cool.